So you want to main neath, weaver of fate. When time begun, there were only endless black waters. Yet from water comes all life, and from this prima dormal force was born the first goddess, Neith. First, ask yourself, why do you want to main Neith? If you're into cosmetics, she has an abundance of skins to choose from. She's super easy and fun. She has a global ultimate that can do a ton of damage. She also has self-sustain. Now before you main her, it's good to know the cons of Neith. Her escape is easy to bait. She's very ability dependent. Neith is an Egyptian smite hunter. Smite has classified her as an easy god, and I agree. I do find her pretty easy. A quick note, if you're an experienced Neith player or you just love playing her, feel free to leave any tips down in the comments below. In this guide, we're exploring Neith as an ADC and mid, going through her abilities, attack cancelling, combos, builds, counters, what not to do, and general tips. With that, let's go through Neith's abilities. Neve's passive Broken Weave A broken weave, which is a little circle on the ground, appears at the last location that each enemy god dies. The broken weave gives her abilities secondary effects when used on the broken weaves. Neve's weaves last for one minute. Her weaves are great for AoE damage, stuns and extra heals. They're very useful. Neve's first ability, Spirit Arrow. Neve's one is a projectile ability type. Neve fires a shot that passes through everything. Each enemy hit takes damage and is rooted. If the spirit arrow hits a broken weave, the weave denotates, dealing an additional 100% damage and applying the root to all enemies in the area. To achieve maximum damage with this ability, you would need to have the enemy hit by your spirit arrow and the weave denotate. This will do double damage. The AoE damage is great to use when there are multiple enemies in radius of your weave. Neve's second ability, Unravel. Neve's 2 is a ground target type. Neath neatly unravels the world weaves, damaging all enemies in the target area. This will reduce their attack speed and heal Neath for each enemy hit, up to 3. Any broken weaves in the area are removed, healing Neath an additional amount. This is great to use strategically in fights as it also counters other attack speed based gods. You can heal off minion waves, enemy gods, and off weaves on the ground. Neath's third ability, Backflip. Neath's 3 is a leap ability type. Neath backflips through the air, creating a broken weave as she leaps while damaging and slowing enemies in front of her. This ability is her main escape. You can also use this ability to catch up to enemies as shown here. Neath's fourth ability, World Weaver. Neath's ultimate is a projectile type. Neath charges up and fires an arrow across the world seeking its target. Enemy gods take damage and are stunned. The arrow can be fired quicker. If you do fire the ultimate before it's fully charged, it will do less damage and a decreased stun duration. For the first 5 levels, at level 1, her 1. At level 2, her 2. At level 3, her 3. At level 4, her 1. At level 5, her ultimate. For leveling priority, I would go her 1 for increased damage and increased root duration, her 2 for increased damage, debuff and heals, her 4 for increased damage, her 3 for increased damage and slow duration. So basically, 1, 2, 4, 3. Attack cancelling for Neath. Attack cancelling allows for some extra damage to go through, it is not mandatory. For her 1, use her 1 and keep the basic attack button press. The basic attack would just go off practically at the same time. For her 3, have it on quick cast, basic attack and use her 3 as soon as your basic attack hits. Combos for Neath Before we get into combos, a few pointers. Ultimate is situational. You can use the ultimate as a finisher, as a setup or simply help out teammates. You can use her ultimate to catch up to enemies. You can use her escape to slow the enemies, I would suggest only doing this if you're team fighting and you're safe with allies around. The slow duration can help. For short combos, 1 and 2, 2 and 1, 3 and 1, 3 and 2. For medium combos, 3, 1, 2. Builds for Neath. Builds always depend on what kind of enemies you're up against. 
My builds in this video is just a general guideline. You can adjust accordingly depending on your game and situations. Amid an ADC ability based build, Transcendence, Warriors Tabi, Heartseeker, Crusher, Shoten's Wrath, Titan's Bane. If you need anti heal, swap out Shoten's Wrath for Brawler's Beatstick. Amid an ADC hybrid build, Transcendence, Warriors Tabi, Crusher. You can swap this item late game for Titan's Bane for more damage and pen. Executioner, Kin Size, Odysseus Bow. If you need anti heal, swap out Crusher for Brawler's Beatstick. For relics, it is always game dependent, but usually Neath grabs Beats and Aegis. Counters of Neath. A Willish hard counters Neath's escape with her ultimate. If you see an A Willish, try not to backflip without Beads. It's easy to avoid her weaves. Without her backflip, she's easy to kill. Her ultimate leaves her as a sitting duck. You have to position yourself away from enemies before using it. Enemies can avoid her ultimate by not being seen by an enemy or Neath. As she is ability dependent, she's very vulnerable without her abilities. Her escape is easy to block if you have teammates around you. Aegis counters her ultimate. Cripple counters her backflip. What not to do as Neath? Do not chase with your 3 unless you know you're safe to do so. Do not use your ultimate selfishly. Your ult can do a lot to help out teammates. Do not use your 2 to clear minions if you do not need the health. General combat tips for Neath. You can use your 3 for a weave and your 1 for double damage on minion waves. This helps early clear but it's not necessarily needed. If you choose to do this, you will be vulnerable as your escape will be down. I suggest only doing this if you'll be under tower. Your ultimate notifies enemies when you're aiming at them. Instead, let it fully charge without aiming at the target and then aim at the enemy target. Pay attention to enemy placements with your weaves. You can use your ultimate to help allies who are being chased. You can use your ultimate to finish off enemies who are getting away with a little bit of health left across the map. You can use your 3 to finish off enemies if you're in a bad position. Sometimes we put ourselves in bad positions to secure a kill. When an enemy is low enough, use your backflip to kill them and get out. Remember that you can use your 2 on weaves to heal yourself. When being chased by enemies, you can use your 2 under yourself while running to heal yourself of the enemy that is on you. And that is all for the Neath Guide. If you would like to request a god guide or simply just to support me, you can find a coffee donation link in the description box below. Let me know what god you would like to main next in the comments. Subscribing and likes would be super rad, clicking the bell really helps me out, I hope to see you for the next one. Bye!